can actually catch up. Yeah, I think uh, some stacks in the jungle can be a necessity, but in July with the Berserker's Call, this could well be your first blood. The healing ward goes down, and it's in July with a spin to get the first blood bonus. Fata clearing out a big stack of Ancients. And we'll get some nice little farm under his belt. Smoke from LGD towards the pit, but they're going to bump right into Cloud9. Wolves go up to the high ground. In July, blinks in. And now Fata stunned up, caught by the Berserker's Call. They'll break his armor with the medallion, but the damage isn't there to get him into dunk range. Omni Slash brings down the Witch Doctor, but now Timbersaw goes in. Dueled by Bone 7. He'll get brought down as well. That's another bout of bonus damage. In July, gets the dunk onto the Legion Commander and wants to man up for Fata. Gets stunned. Sylar getting kited around, and it's going to be Cloud9 coming out way ahead in this fight, Winter. It's a one for three, and MMY gets left behind. Make it a one for four, a triple for Envy. And all of a sudden, Cloud9 striking back. Always this C9 had the high ground advantage there. But they were still going they still ran up the high ground and paid a price for it. Yeah. So they do kill Roche fast enough. These short respawn timers here at only the 13 minute mark. Thought LGD might be able to have a go in the pit. But it will be the Aegis of the Immortal swap. going to the Bristle. Yep. Yeah, he's and there's swap. the swap on the Misery, but Faith. Uh oh, he gets off a Death Ward. He might actually kill the Wisp here. Wow. He does kill the Wisp. Weird time to pause. So, okay, let's think about our options. So here we go. Both teams ready to resume. How's this going to explode? Faith still doing a lot of damage to EE. They get the kill on Venge right away. EE wow. will just Blade Fury away. He actually took so much damage. Maledict? Maledict. Oh my god. Oh my. This is this is gonna be a oh my god, here we go. Okay, he wants to run in and attack. engage onto Yao here. There is little it can do. Yeah, pressing forward, timber chain away, MMY kinda left behind, but in July on the high ground. He's chasing so far. Can we get a two-man, three-man berserkers call? Comes in, finds Big Daddy. He gets called soon to get dunked, and he's dead. That'll be the first kill in this little exchange, but Witch Doctor goes down shortly after all after all that goo was stacked up for the minus armor. Fata diving deep again, moves into the tier one tower, but he's got reinforcements, Envy and Bone 7 nearby. In July goes to the Berserker's Call. Can we get a series of dunks here? He gets one on Bone 7, make it two on the Bristle. That procs the Aegis. Axe goes down in the fray, but still doing a lot of work before he... GD right there to defend. And the Visage will actually be the winner of the duel. MMY stays alive. They've lost the Wisp already. C9 in a 5v3-ish scenario. Lycan's not here, but he's still contributing with that Hal. Now Misery trying to make the Exodus gets caught and dunked. Oh, boy. Things starting to fall apart a little. Oh. That would be able to take off. Is this it, Winter? Is this the is this the beginning of the push? Five man smoke up the yeah. mid from LGD. You know, Andrew, how many games we've done on C9 where we, we see the, the same problem over and over again? They don't have much D push and enemy comes at a timing. Five men near the, the tier tree. We're gonna see it again. Fata forced to look at the team. The bristleback ability gonna be rendered completely ineffective. Nice setup from LGD, and it'll be a good gank to get this push started. With the Aegis in hand, they look at the high ground here and go right into the tier three tower. Cloud Cloud9 have a glyph available. Buyback on the Bristle is also available, but he'll be patient with it. Bone 7 goes in, duel on the Faith, finds the quick pick on the Witch Doctor, but he didn't have the ultimate anyway. Now the mech used by the Visage, LGD will start to retreat. Crimson Guard has also been popped by Fata. Yao throwing out the Chakram, trying to slow everyone down so his team can escape with minimal losses here. Shiva's Guard used, Silar channels the Wolf ultimate. Now they'll turn and try to fight. In July gets taken out, and I think for LGD, the retreat should be in full effect here. Silar just barely TP's home. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, sort of probably almost even. And that fight was what I was talking about. They needed to take out the Witch Doctor right away. And yeah. top lane, you see. And then why? He's going to get a kill on Big Daddy first before he goes down. But he is going to lose the gem. And oh. Envy picks it up. So even though it's one for one, big exchange for Cloud9 there. In the bottom lane, looks like Timbersaw may get locked down. It's a duel from Bone7. He'll get some bonus damage, even though there is an Aegis of the Immortal. Here comes the Witch Doctor with the ultimate. Yes, yeah. ultimate up his sleeves. Oh, Timber Saw. He's going to go down co too quick, though. Gets interrupted from a swap by Misery. Faith will still get the kill with the negative earn charge, but now Faith, he gets turned around on. Easy kill for Cloud9. And they are getting some decent momentum out of all of these trades. Oh, yeah, we just saw it there. Derp. I, was, I keep thinking the Lycan had it. Uh, yeah, they gave it to the Timber Saw. So no more Aegis of the Immortal.
will delay any incoming push from LGD probably till the next mm. Roche, the I'd Lightning imagine. has a Necro tree and double damage, so he wants his team to create some, oh. some sort of distraction. Here. Mid, duel oh. onto Yao in July. Well, we know the answer now. Duel is the trump card. Bone 7 does not turn around, stays the course for the kill. They also finish off the Visage. Death Ward doing a lot of damage, or is it the Crimson Guard mitigates so much of it? It's a three on two, though. Silar running in like a madman with that double damage rune. Envy, dueled, dunked, and this wolf is just doing too much work here, Winter. Fata has his back turned. They're gonna run into first. Roche is up, though. LGD know that the, there's Roshan. They have and one wolf inside the pit. And C9 is going to wrap around trying... Oh dear, this looks like a really bad go. one. Envy goes in, and July misses the Berserker's call. That allows Envy to get off the Omni Slash, bouncing around to all the Necronomicon units. Faith will be the dual target. He goes down, and it's a winner for Bone 7. In July just says, hell, I'm going to TP out of here. They interrupt it. Now Berserker's call to reinitiate. Yao comes in, blinks right in the middle of the fight. As much damage as the Timbersaw can do, gets the kill on the Wisp, but it will cost him their visage. Cloud9 doing the damage here is now in July locked down. Another Berserker's call. Envy swapped out but still dunk. The Axe lives long enough to do massive damage to the Dire team. And even though Cloud9 are getting the better of the trade so far, it's not over yet. The Birds will chase down Misery. Silar now locked down. It's just Yao alive. Gets Fada as well as Bone 7 low, but can't secure the kill. For the Rush. Omni Slash, another 27 seconds, so it's going to be ready for the next fight. All right, Cloud9 go right into the Roche pit. They weren't smoked up, so Radiant have vision. They've got a ward on the high ground on the other side of the river. Yeah. They should be pretty aware of how quickly Roche can go down. They need to get the Wish Doctor out this time. Oh, in July comes in. Misery caught by the call and now gets dunked. Bone 7 with an aggressive duel onto Faith. Again, Faith again. They Three mech him up, though. Row. He almost lives, but no. Bone 7 does secure the kill. Big Daddy locked down, killed by Familiars. Now on the other side of the fight it's Fata dueled by in July now MMY on the run in comes Bone 7 cleanses Fata gives him a little speed boost makes it an easy kill on the bird Reinitiation now in July comes in. They drop the Juggernaut in a matter of seconds. Bone 7 and Fata trying to run away. Silar in hot pursuit in the ultimate form. All of his units continuing to chase them down as well. Pressure attack comes out in July. Blinks forward. There's the Shiva's Berserker's call. Will connect. Bone 7 in a lot of trouble. He'll go down. It's just Fata that stays alive. And LGD strike back again. Taking another fight. Yao just TPs oh out. God. But Fata might still find the kill. No. In July. Makes it out also worth it for him here? I mean, he's already got um, Ogre Club and Point Booster, so he's already pretty tanky. I don't think he wants to do that, though, because the Witch Doctor upgrade on the Axe is just so good. Yeah. And if he wanted to do that, he would have done it a long time ago. If he... True. I guess he's gonna finish it. Here comes Feta. Gonna yeah. pop the Shiva's gut. Runs into the Rush Pit. Still goes down to the Radiant, though. Liking the one to grab the Aegis. Uh, Faith on the backside. Does channel the ultimate for a little while. It costs him his life, but they get the kill on Big Daddy before he goes down. Fata now on the run, but gets hit by the Shivas. They should be able to bring him down here. It's a three on one. They're gonna reclaim the gem as well, Zari. Oh, yeah, Fata's the one carrying it. They really want this kill. The dunk from Axe secures it. A double for in July, and the gem gets in the inventory of Yao. It's a two for two. A double damage rune, and there's no glyph on the dire for about a minute yeah. 20. We all remember last time when this happened when Lycan had a DD. Yep. And Bristleback is not with him right now. He is pushing the top lane. Will start to TP back, but not going to be here in time to save the tower. Silar goes right for the structures, and he'll bring down the melee barracks in a matter of seconds. Now Yao hops forward in July shortly after. Eternal Envy with the Omni Slash. Can he actually get it off? He will. LGD still with all five alive. They get the kill on Wisp. Now their Witch Doctor goes down. Buy back on the Wisp. It is a 4v5 on the field, C9 with the advantage, and LGD will make the right call to back out. But the swap pulls Axe into an awkward position, and in July just plays Sacrificial Lamb. Makes the space for his team to get out, as he's definitely going to fall. They get the melee barracks, so under the day, LGD kind of got what they came for. Reason This next Roche is very important. If LGD get it, defending the high ground for Cloud9 will be very difficult. C9 kind of need this to extend the game. They move into the pit. They kill Roche very quickly, but LGD, they're here. They're going to contest it in July. Goes cruising into the pit. Stops the assault for now. Death Ward onto the high ground. Faith with beautiful positioning. Yao still falls, but they get the counter kill onto Bone 7. A one for one straight away. Timbersaw will be back in 20 seconds with BOTs. Silar, ultimate form, will try to run away, but gets stunned up. Can he make it out? Oh, he's slow, and he'll go down. One for two, double for Fada. Buy back on the Lycan. They need to contest this. Roche and they will in July on his way in to try and buy his team some time.
but it's just him right now. He goes in, duel on Big Daddy. Not going to stop the Roche. Bristleback gets the Aegis. And not sure where the Chief is position. Crimson Guard used just on Fata by Fata. Does not buff up anyone on his team, but he'll be okay. Survives through all that damage, and they're just slow sieging down this tower. Not so slow anymore as Fata starts laying in the licks. And in July, looking for some options here. There's the duel on the Silar. They get the kill on the Wolf to start off this fight. No by that. Can you use my back people? Oh no, this is looking bad for LGD. They're taking a lot of damage in July, getting low, but EE wins the duel, at least for now. Goes down afterwards. Double buyback used by LGD. Axe as well as the visage back in the fray. But as you pointed out, Lycan still dead. Faith barely still alive as Fata in the front lines, zoning out LGD as his team clears up the barracks. Envy did buy back for this. BOT's in. Now the relocate top. Cloud9 wanna deliver the killing blow while they have the opportunity with the Big Wolf in the grave. Bottom lane of Barracks already cleared out mid, taking a lot of damage. And Envy still up top, ready to push into that lane as soon as the um, Radiant commit towards the mid. In July, now commits forward, goes in on the Misery. They'll find a dunk here. Can they find anything else? Now Fata in a little bit of a sticky wicket, has that back turned, trying to make it out. Chakram's flying through. They'll continue to slow him down, but Zerker's call, they get the kill. So what did Cloud9 do in terms of damage? They get the bottom lane of Barracks, a melee mid. It's gonna be up to you. Okay, initiation here in July. Four step back to try and pull him out of position. Yao taking so much damage. Silar taking a lot as well. Bone 7 will be crowned the winner for some bonus damage, but ends up going down. Venge decapitated by the axe as now. Okay, on his way in. They need at least a melee Barracks here to level things out. Fata doing what he can, but here we go. Berserker's call to initiate. Pulls Fata into an awkward position. Timbersaw gets behind him. Starts poking him in the back for max damage. The Death Ward from Faith flying through, doing some decent damage. Lycan dives deep to bring down No Tail. He buys back right away, but Bone 7 just gets dunked as he tries to initiate. Now the buyback there. Fata, low on health, but still alive. Was tethered up, getting overcharged by Big Daddy. Goes back in. Remember, he has a buyback available, but he'll go down, and he'll probably be forced to use it. C9 quickly running out of options. Although Envy, here you go, Winter. The back door is real. He gets the mid lane of Barracks and might be able to mega LGD. This could turn into an, a good old fashioned base race. Envy goes straight for the tier fours. Berserker's call. Misery goes down. Bone seven. It'll be a dieback for him. Not many reinforcements left for Cloud9 to defend. He gets one of the tier four towers. One more still remaining. But LGD, they've got the numbers advantage. They get a tier four tower now as well. Envy. He, he just got a desolate. Uh oh, he just got a desolate. From the enemy shop, he'll go into the tier four as well. It's going to be really close here. Winter C9 trying to defend as best they can. Fata, he's bought back. He's doing what damage he can. Radiant, they still had the cliff that stops EE dead in his tracks, but they can't focus the throne themselves. Instead, they have to deal with the heroes. Fata doing a lot of damage. This is going to be damn close. So much on the line here. Eternal Envy might be able to do it to get his team eighth place. LGD, they just want the throw, but they can't. It's Envy. Oh my God, Winter, you called it, and Envy did. It. <laughs> Cloud nine. Ah! I can't believe it came down to that. Hmm. I actually thought the Wiz would actually relocate himself to actually help the Juggernaut to do damage, but instead he chose to stay back. Try to keep.